Hey Saggies, welcome to your weekly love reading December 24th to the 30th. I hope you guys are doing really good and having a great Christmas Eve so far. Thank you uh, to my YouTube subscribers and my patrons for being so patient with me getting you guys the, de the delayed content. I really do appreciate it guys. Um, you know, because I... <laughs> it's I'm the kind of person that likes to do things on time as they're supposed to be done and I know I know it's never really late it's all divine timing right I, I know I know it's just how I am that's just my work ethic so I it always makes me feel bad if it's delayed and so I really appreciate you guys understanding that it is what it is um I want to tell you about the pre-shuffle before I forget because I know I'm gonna forget because I am a little tired got some coffee going mm. I was gonna put eggnog in it and I forgot I had booze in it so <laughs> <laughs> Gotta wait to do that. <laughs> anyway, um, so the pre-shuffle. I saw the Emperor in reverse with strength in reverse. I know Aries and Leo, that's a hell of a lot of fire energy. That's all but your own with the lovers, Gemini energy, which is your your seventh house, your house of partnership. Someone has to go control issues. <laughs> Regarding this connection, somebody has to let go of control issues. Major, 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 major. If it was a major, major arcana wouldn't come out. No. Oh. <laughs> I just like realized how that sounded. Actually, I kind of like the way that sounds. If it wasn't major, major arcana wouldn't be a part of it. Um, <laughs> yeah, someone's got some major control issues that they got to let go of. Okay, um, so please keep that in mind. Uh, please, and also know, guys, this is a general love reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So not all messages will resonate with everybody. Messages come through for those who need to hear them. Sometimes I see you, sometimes it's not. All right, you guys know. You guys know how this works. Take it resonates, leave the rest behind. Even if it's just one thing, if it's just one thing out of the whole reading. If that one thing resonates with you, latch onto that one thing and hold on to only that and take it home with you. Okay, uh, we are working with energy, guys. So just know that messages could be vice versa, or they could pertain to uh, yourself, your partner, someone in your media environment, coworkers, family, friends. They could pertain to anybody that you interact with very regularly. Okay, but this is love reading, so more often than not, it's going to be about your partner or someone that you're interested in. Or someone who's interested in you. Hey, you never know what comes out. Some interesting stuff comes out sometimes. Uh, also, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards, guys. Nothing is gender specific. It's all about energy. We all have masculine and feminine energy, okay? All right, let's get started, Sag. I hope you guys also had a really great birthday season. We are now doing Capricorn birthday. Um, I have the Capricorn birthday survey out. Oh my, we. There's no we. It's just me. <laughs> um, I do have the Capricorn birthday survey out, so go ahead and check that out for anybody who um, has Cap in their chart or is interested in the Capricorn and wants to get those bonus readings, okay? Any messages for my Saggies regarding love? December 24th to the 30th. Any mes uh, messages for my Saggies regarding love? December 24th to the 30th. Um, I don't know why I'm picking up on Aries. Okay, this is a message for somebody who's with an Aries. Uh, things are about to hit the sh things. Shit, really. Shit is about to hit the fan. Uh, there's a lot of anger. It feels very explosive. I don't like it, and I'm going to leave that energy right now. Whoever's dealing with an Aries, be very cautious this week. It things are going to explode. That's what I'm sensing. Okay, any messages for my Saggies? December 24th for the 30th, regarding love. Any messages for my Saggies regarding love? December 24th to the 30th. Ooh, what do we have here? Ooh, hoo, hoo, wow, okay. All right, we got Judgment and the Queen of Swords out here. The Judgment feels really good, though. Really, really good. Um, for those of you who have been in separation, there's a lot of watching going on. A lot of watching. Um, yeah, a lot of watching. Whether it's just social media or if they're actually like traveling by your house and shit. Uh, wow, some of them are even looking at pictures, like old pictures that they have of you, not even on social media. Like they actually took the time to like, oh, some of them they're just looking on their phone, like the pictures that are actually downloaded on their phone. But some of them actually do have printed out pictures of you just to look at you. <laughs> and if you're not with this person, that's a little, I don't know, it's a little much. Any messages for my Saggies regarding love, December 24th to the 30th? Any messages for my Saggies? 
December 24th to the 30th regarding love. Any messages for my Saggies? December 24th to the 30th regarding love. Oh, we got a peeker. I know I saw you. All right, there we go. Ooh, I love it. I love it. Overall energy, King of Cups. Scorpio energy could also be Cancer, Pisces, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I love the King of Cups, guys. And it's not because I'm biased. Well, I don't know, maybe a little bit. But I do love the King of Cups. I do. And why do I love the King of Cups? Because the King of Cups is all about love. He has a he has great control over his emotions. I'm just saying he because it's a he. Can he also be female? Um, I'm just going to refer to it as a he just because of the imagery, okay, guys? Regardless of gender. He is very in control of his emotions, even though he's full of love. Like, a King of Cups is actually bursting with love, but they have the maturity to, to rein that in so they're not, like, they don't dance around like a fool in love all the time. <laughs> you know what I mean? And when they give you their love, they expect you to return it. They expect you to return it. They don't give it unless they, they don't give it unless they know that they're going to get it back. Oh, I like it. I love it a lot. I'm going to just put it right up here so I can look at it during the reading. Okay. Oof. Some of y'all might be dealing with Scorpio. or you, Oh, you could be a Cusper. You could be a Scorpio Sag Cusper. We have the tower out here. So let's get this started. Two major arcana out of four. This is going to be an intense reading. So we have Judgment. Queen of Swords. Libra Energy could also be Gemini Aquarius or Cancer Pisces Scorpio. The tower. <laughs> Scorpio Energy. And then uh, Six of Cups in Reverse. So this is interesting to me because I really feel like there's a coming together happening for those of you who've been in separation. Because when the Queen of Swords comes out, I definitely always get that like single vibe of like, a, you know, recent single, new single. It's like single, singledom is coming or going, right? It's like there's an air of that. But with Judgment, that's always about when Judgment comes out in upright like that, that says to me reconciliation. Um, and Six of Cups out here tells me soulmate connection, past life energy, for sure. You've known this person. You guys have a lot of history together. Um, but yeah, there, for a lot of you, you have been in separation, whether that's physical, like distance wise, or if you two have literally just split, you know? Um, but yeah, coming together, a coming together. There's going to be a big conversation about something. There's gonna be a big conversation because overall energy, guys, it's like you're you're committing. You're you're ready to commit. But I feel like all right, sorry, I'm just getting a lot of stuff, so I'm trying to organize it all in my head. So for those of you who are not in separation from each other, like you're actually together in a commitment, it's about to be leveled up. It's about to be leveled up. For those of you where you've been in actual separation, you're not with your person, you guys are gonna come together and, and work some work some stuff out. All right. It feels really good. It feels good. Okay. Got that all straight. <laughs> Let's look at judgment. Let's clarify that. Clarify judgment. Clarify judgment for my Saggies. December 24th to the 30th. I, you know, I'm so happy because a lot of people are coming into union this week. Um, there are some people breaking up. Like Taurus and uh, Virgo. Oh, Oh, those signs. Oh, that was rough. Um, and then the, whatever I was sensing for Aries, like Sag and Aries, I'm a little scared to do the Aries reading now because that was some intense anger. Clarify ju judgment. Clarify judgment. But you guys seem like you're doing good. So <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Clarify judgment for my Saggies, December 24th to the 30th. Clarify judgment got the tower again okay I got three cards out here clarify judgment oh yeah whatever you guys have dealt with in the past oh it did not feel good so you're leaving behind some some stuff that really really needs to be left behind clarify judgment clarify judgment Clarify judgment. All right, cool. So let me get these organized. We have quite a few cards out here, guys. Quite a few. 
Oh, and look, an Aries card. Eesh. <laughs> I don't know. I hope it's not that same Aries. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be. Oh, we got the lovers again. Um, by the way, guys, that's Twin Flame Energy for me, for those who are kind of new to my channel. Um, if I get Twin Flame Energy, I always like to say it so that it always uh, it resonates with people. Don't get hung up on labels, guys. I was talking about this in the Virgo reading. Um, you know, I've just noticed that when I've, when I've used the term Twin Flame or Soulmate, people kind of latch onto it. And they try to, you know, they get in this headspace of, oh, if they're my twin, okay, I'm just going to make this work no matter what happens. If someone's not treating you right, that's, you know, that's not cool, right? That's not what relationships are about. It's not about the label. It's about the person. It's about the relationship. It's about the experience. Go for the experience you want. If you're not experiencing what you want, then a change needs to happen, okay? Anyway, moving on. Overall energy, four of wands, the commitment card, the marriage card, the awesome card. Everybody loves the four of wands, right? Yeah, for, yeah. Yeah. Definitely leveling up the relationship, and some of you, it's coming into commitment for the for the first time, um, or second, oh, or second time for some of you, second time. Hell, even a third. There's a couple thirders out there. Um, <laughs> wow, what a roller coaster! <laughs> wow, a third time. No, I'm just I'm just saying I've been there. I have been there, and I know that that's a roller coaster to be on. Okay. So let's take a look. We have a lot of cards, so we'll just go one line at a time. I won't show you all of them. Just do one line at a time. I mean, I won't show them all to you at once because it's overwhelming. I don't want to overwhelm you guys. So this first line, Tower in Reverse, Scorpio Energy, with the Knight of Wands in Reverse, Sagittarius, that's you. Could also be Aries or Leo. It's a lot of fire. Double fire card. Then the Nine of Swords in Reverse. So this is past energy. I'm just letting you guys know. And it's being released because this tower. Um, fear and anxiety. Fear and anxiety. It's almost like this tower was being resisted because of these emotions. Someone who's very stuck in their head, had a lot of anxiety, had a lot of fear about something, really terrified to come forward. And, you know, they were resisting this tower moment, but we all know you can't. You can't, like, outrun a tower moment. <laughs> you can't. They're inevitable. So you can either make it worse and prolong it, prolong the tower from falling till it eventually falls, or you can just accept it, embrace it, and then have a smoother ride, right? Just for a little piece of advice there. So let's look at this tower. Very curious about this tower moment. Let's look at the vice versa deck for that. If I could pick it up. This is going to be a long reading, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Clarify the tower in reverse for my Saggies. Clarify the tower in reverse. Yeah, someone was fearing this tower moment for sure. Clarify the tower in reverse. Clarify the tower in reverse. Mm, wow, okay. Clarify the tower in reverse. We have justice out here so far. Libra energy again. So you can do with the Libra too. Um, we have two Libra cards out here. Or a Libra Scorp Cusper because Scorpio is out here. Clarify the tower in reverse. Clarify the tower in reverse. Wow. Clarify the tower in reverse. Okay. Let me get these organized. They came out in weird orders. Justice, not a swords. I got these two. Okay, and then these two. Overall energy, you guys again. <laughs> Knight of Wands. Uh, again, it could also be Aries or Leo, but it is Sagittarius energy. This is the other side. This is the side that came out in your reading. Um Sag, I gotta be honest. Don't don't you know, don't be mad at me. I just gotta call it like I see it. And it's not a bad thing. We all you know, we all go through positive moments we all go through negative moments uh arounding around this tower it seems like whatever has sparked it um it was recklessness something reckless reckless impulsive not thought out just kind of oh maybe i'll do it did it done you know what i mean like that quick um 
And it's definitely about just kind of going for what you want, but whatever it was, it was done very recklessly. Very recklessly. And then we have the cards that came out. We have six. We have Justice with the Nine of Swords. Six of Cups with the Five of Pentacles. And then Nine of Cups with the Empress. So this it's really interesting to me that these two came out. Um, this tower is coming down because there's a realization that something needs to be balanced out. And this person has a lot of anxiety over it, right? We already saw that. A lot of anxiety. And Sag, I feel like it's you. Remember, this could always be vice versa. Um, so I'll just say it as if it's the Sag. Sag, you know you have to fix... You know, you knew you had to fix the situation. You knew. And it was giving you a lot of anxiety of trying to figure out how to do it. Because Six of Cups, again, double confirmation. Because um, you were in isolation from this person. You were away from this person, separated from this person, and it was killing you. And you couldn't stand it. Because you couldn't stop thinking about them. You couldn't stop missing them. You couldn't stop fantasizing about them. And then it just seems like finally you're like, you know what? I, 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 I have to. I have to. I, I need them. I need them. I need them. So then you turn into the Knight of Cups. Piscean energy could also be Cancer Scorpio, Aries Leo Sag. And you ran towards your Empress. <laughs> Which is also Divine Feminine for those that resonate with that. This is definitely indicative of Twin Flame energy here on the board. But this Empress is not the um traditional empress this one is but this empress this is an empress who is very withdrawn who's withdrawn inside of themselves to to kind of get great gain their grounding and also to tap into their intuition again they're not they they lost that attachment to it they lost that that um balance that balance in their life so now they're they're going within to kind of seek that back out again but you're going there towards them you're going towards them because you want to offer them love that's really, you're like, oh, I love it. I love it. That's really sweet. That's really sweet. It's like you went from being afraid and not going for it because you were so afraid of how it was going to work out. And then you something just lit a fire under your little archer butt. And then you're like, okay, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. It's really sweet. And then double confirmation, moving on. Knight of Cups, Piscean Energy again, Cancer Scorpio, Aries Leo Sag. Like I said, you're going to go and offer them love. And that's exactly what you did. And you went to them. They come, they're coming across as the Queen of Wands, Aries energy. Could also be Sagittarius, Leo, or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, you went to them, and like I said, your person is withdrawn within themselves. So they are in this Four of Swords energy, right? A Four of Swords is about self-reflection. It's like a mini hermit. That's how, I, that's how I like to think of it. Like the hermit is the major arcana, and then the minor arcana matching that is the Four of Swords, just similar to like the star card with the nine of cups right so it's like a mini hermit mode um so you went to them and you knew that they were kind of in isolation and they were kind of doing their own thing i think they're also working a lot like they're working on something um i don't know if they're an entrepreneur or whatnot but whatever they're doing they're hard at work in hermit mode whether they're working on themselves a project a business they're, they're working on something with a lot of passion. It's something they're, oh, that's nice. That's actually really nice. They're working on something that makes them really happy that they're really passionate about. And that's also part of them being in hermit mode. And it, in a way, it, it almost is healing them to do this because it, it, it ignites their fire. That's really cool. By the way, congratulations to your partner. That's a cool thing. Not a lot of people can do that. All right, moving on. Six of Pentacles. This is the last line to clarify um, judgment. I know. Like I said, guys, it's going to be a long reading. <laughs> Six of Pentacles with the moon. Piscean energy could also be Cancer. Uh, twi oh, twins. That's so funny. Lovers. Yes. Twin flame card for me, but also Gemini. So the twins. Gemini energy. Virgo energy with the hermit. Major arcana. Oh, oh. <laughs> As above, so below. What is this? Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. So this is interesting to me. So this is trying, this is calling for balance. Calling for balance. That's what this, that's why the Six of Pentacles is here. Um, there was something about this connection that was really out of whack. Really out of whack. Um, I feel like someone was working on it a hell of a lot more than the other person. Um, even, even like aesthetically, it's almost like someone was was even like dressing up more than the other person, trying to look nicer, trying to like really doing all they could to like to really um, level up their game in this relationship. The other person, not so much because the full moon, the full I didn't mean to say full moon because the moon is here. Oh, well, we just had the full moon 
you guys might have had some revelations under the full moon. Just saying, just letting you guys know. Um, anyway, so the moon is indicating that something is very unknown. Something was very much hidden about this connection, specifically about your union with each, like your actual energetic connection with each other. I think some of you are realizing that you're twins. I just got to be honest. Some of you are realizing that. Others of you are realizing how much you love this person, which is really sweet. I really like that. Um, realizing how important they are to you. But it's still very much hidden. So this revelation is probably going to come more so in January. Um, but as for this week, there's just a hidden factor, a hidden factor to your connection. And then soul searching. This is your partner's energy. Um, doing the soul searching. And this is my lazy card, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, which I think is kind of interesting. It's with the hermit. Because, I mean, hermit mode, people are working. It's just, it's not always physical work, right? Sometimes it's just all up here. It's all in here, which is still work. I don't know why my, what's going on? Okay. Which is still, yeah, my phone's freaking out. Which is still work, right? Uh, with Eight of Pentacles in reverse, it's saying like, not working, not working on something, not working towards something. There's a little bit of a revelation here with that also with your partner as they're in hermit mode. Again, realizing the lack of give and take that took place. Realizing they need to give less. They need, yeah, realizing they need to give less. No judgment could always be vice versa. Yeah, very interesting. So moving on to this Queen of Swords energy. Uh, I just, I'm getting communication off that. Abrupt. Abrupt? Abrupt communication. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Where are we at? Oh my god, we're at 21 minutes? I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> Hurry and tell me about the Queen of Swords. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean for these videos to go so long. I don't know how readers do like six minute videos or even like eight minute videos. Even when I did my short ones because of my voice, that was really hard to do it that short. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. <clears throat> Tell me about the Queen of Swords for my Saggies, December 24th to the 30th. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Oh, jeez. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Again, a lot of cards. Overall energy. Page of Cups in reverse. Um, withholding. Withholding emotion. That's part of them being in hermit mode, is withdrawing their emotion. They have to. They have to to do whatever healing they need to do. Okay? And to also tap into their intuition. I think they're doing spiritual work. Some of them are doing, like, intense, oh, wow, some of them are doing intense spiritual work. I just kind of felt that energy. Um, some of them are doing it to the point where they are exhausting themselves, which is not good. Um, so just make sure that you relay that message to them if you know that they're doing spiritual work. So like I said, we had a lot of cards come out. Oh, wait, this was the last line. Let me just get these organized. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Ignore me with my itchy nose. Oh, yeah. They're, and they're like I said, they're doing it to gain clarity on the situation and to gain clarity on you and the past. And there was some bad shit that went down. I already see it. We got the seven of swords out here in reverse. So that's revisiting old, old crimes, old crimes, old crimes of love. So the first two cards we have devil energy with the seven of swords in reverse. Yeah, looking back at the past of the bad deeds that took place, whether it was them or you, realizing how toxic they were, realizing how codependent they were. Some of them are addiction related, without a doubt. Um, secrets. I just got secrets. Secrets. Whoever was doing these bad deeds, they were keeping a lot of secrets from the other person. <clears throat> like to the point where I think the person would even question like... um. For example, if you were with someone, they did some bad shit, kept a lot of secrets from you, you had your separation, and then they came back and told you, you'd be like, I don't know who you are. <laughs> it's it's that extreme. Where you would literally question this person about everything. Then we have the Queen of Cups in reverse, Cancerian energy, could also be Pisces, Scorpio. Justice in reverse, Libra energy. Three of Swords in reverse, with the King of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy. With, this is my Narcissist card. Uh, could also be Gemini, Libra, with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. 
Uh, could also be Virgo, Taurus, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have a true pair on the board uh, with the Queen of Cups and, and the King of Cups and the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. So this is all about healing. This is all about healing. That's why the Three of Swords in the middle is, is in reverse like that. That's healing old wounds. Uh, old wounds being over here. Um, this is how your partner felt about... If you were the ones who... I'll, if you were the one who did the bad deeds, I don't know. I can't tell who did the bad deeds. I'll be honest. I feel like it's... For some of you, it was a saggy. For some of you, it was the partner. So it just depends on your situation. So I'll just say the person who was deceptive. So the person who was deceptive left the other person feeling this way. Like, totally jilted, heartbroken, completely devastated, completely devastated. And then we have this energy. Um, this, whatever played out, put both of you in this energy. Whoever did the bad deeds definitely was the King of Swords in reverse. Again, my narcissist cards, very selfish, emotionally unavailable, doesn't communicate, doesn't talk, certainly doesn't talk about emotions, and it's a little manipulative. Queen of Pentacles in reverse is someone who's dishonest, someone who's not very loyal, someone who's very unfocused, unhinged, um, can't get work done, can't get work done, can't get work done. This is the person who is jilted. Like, I'm not going to be loyal to your ass anymore if you're going to do this shit to me kind of energy. Yeah. Hey, it is what it is. Then we have the Five of Wands with the King. Not the King, I'm sorry. Knight of Pentacles. Virgo energy could also be Capricorn, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, fighting. There was a, yeah, there was petty fighting that took place and also competition. Competition. There's a big comp theme of competition that I'm sensing. Whether you two were competing with each other. Oh, oh, some of you were competing for their attention. Wow. So for those, so for the person in this connection who was the victim, I'll say that the person who was the victim of the seven of swords energy, you, you had to compete for their attention a lot. You had to compete for this. You had to compete for someone providing you stability in a relationship. Oh, Jesus. That's intense. Then we have the Three of Wands in reverse with the Ten of Pentacles. Three of Cups in reverse with the Page of Wands. So this is interesting. Someone is is someone is expecting this Ten of Pentacles to come their way, which is legacy. That's like that's family money. Um it's it's stability in the home, it's it's strong foundation, it's building wealth, it's building a nest egg. They were kind of expecting this to happen, and then they got news that was very disappointing with this Three of Cups in reverse, um, and then they realized that they had really high expectations. So yeah, this seems to me that this is all about the past, like, they really thought this was something amazing, and then some. it didn't work out because someone was very deceptive, but now there's a coming together. There's a reconciliation happening. And then we got the Tower with Six of Cups in reverse. This is just telling me that there was some bad blood that's gone down and I sense that. So I'm not, I'm not going to clarify that. I got to clarify this tower, guys. I know we're 28 minutes in. Um, and I know not everybody likes lengthy videos, but I didn't mean for this to be so lengthy. There was just a ton of clarifiers for these two cards. If you saw my board, actually, I'm going to show you guys my board because it is pretty crazy. Yeah, that's my board. <laughs> yeah. I, and this is just the two cards. These are all the clarifiers. <laughs> I know. It's intense. Um, please. That's why it took so long. Okay, but let's clarify the tower. I'm going to use the Vice Versa deck since ba you, you saw how much of the Gilded Terra deck has already been used. <clears throat> clarify the tower. <clears throat> so the energy I just talked about, that was all past energy. The energy I first talked about is present energy. This tower is near future. I feel it. It's near future. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Clarify the tower. Clarify the tower for my saggy. I'm so annoyed, guys. I put my phone on Do Not Disturb when I did the Virgo video, and then I had to take it off to uh to uh to deal with something, and I forgot to put it back on, and I just got interrupted with an alarm, no less, that I set myself, <laughs> that I set my damn self. Cannot believe I did that. Okay, now it's on Do Not Disturb. So sorry. 
that's added just another two hours to the uploading time. Clarify the tower. I can't wait till I get a camera. I'm really close, by the way, guys. Um, thank you to everybody who's donated. Thank you. Thank you to everybody who's donated. I'm really close being able to get a camera off Craigslist. And once I do, I don't have to worry about that problem anymore. Ugh. Literally, it's adding two hours to my uploading time. Clarify the tower. And now it's going to be a long video, which is just going to make it even longer to upload. Clarify the tower for my Saggies, December 24th to the 30th. Regarding love, clarify the tower. Clarify the tower. Come on. It's hard to pick them up, but not the, all the other clarifying cards I already had. Clarify the tower. Clarify the tower. Clarify the tower for Sagittarius, December 24th to the 30th. <laughs> Hermit again. Hermit mode again, Virgo energy. This, yeah, so this tower moment's all about what was discovered in the, in, while being in hermit mode, okay? While being MIA, while doing the soul searching. Let's see what was discovered. What transpired? What is happening with this tower? What do we have here? Oh. Mm. That is not what I expected. So the first two cards to come out, seven of wands with the four of swords. Whatever this tower moment is, it's relating a to a battle. It's relating to a fight. It's relating to an altercation of some kind, an obstacle. <sighs> oh, I see. It's the obstacle of being in hermit mode. I understand now. Oh, okay. That makes me feel so much better. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I was getting worried for you guys. I'm like, no, I know this is a reconciliation. I know I can feel it. And it is. It is. Oh, jeez. So this tower moment is happening for the individual who is in hermit mode. Okay. So, which is who? Hold on. Let me look back at this. Sag, it's Sag. I feel like it's your partner. I feel like it's your partner. It could be vice versa. But whoever's going into hermit mode... Really feeling it's the partner, but again, it could be vice versa. Whoever's in hermit mode, it's a battle for them to be in hermit mode. They're not very good at it. <laughs> and no judgment. No judgment <laughs> whatsoever. Being in hermit mode can be hard for some people because it's facing your obstacles. It's facing your issues, right? It's facing the things you don't really want to face. Um, and this seven of wands, this is a good seven of wands to have. This is after the battle. I've, I've come out of the battle and I'm okay, relatively. <laughs> this is I'm about to start... Yeah, I'm about to I'm about to fight. I'm about to get in it. This is I'm still standing. I'm still standing, but I still need some healing to do, right? That's why the four of swords is out here. So being in hermit mode was hard, but they're realizing they're not quite done with the work they have to do. So they're staying there. And then we have these three cards. Um oh wait, we have the king of swords. Hold on a second. Where'd that king of swords go? I know we have the king of swords, didn't we? Did we not? Did I imagine that? Oh, yeah, we did. Here. Yeah, so this, yeah, okay. So, yeah, it's the partner. It's the partner. Um, Wheel of Fortune. Aquarius energy could also be Gemini, Libra. And then the Six of Wands. This is not a good Six of Wands, guys. So this is something they're realizing in Hermit Mode. This is something your partner is realizing about their selfish behavior, their narcissistic ways. They're realizing that they need to turn their energy into a positive you know, this, the air like energy that they're harnessing and the negative that makes them narcissistic and selfish. They're realizing they need to turn it over to the positive to this side. This side is equivalent to a narcissist, okay? Full of it. Like they're about to take on the storm by themselves thinking, I'll be fine. I can do anything. Yeah, no, they're, they're realizing they need to change their ways and, and really communicate effectively. They need to be true to themselves and they need to be true to others. Um, and they realize up until this point, they haven't been doing that, which is why these two cards are in the negative space. This is the positive wheel of fortune. This is get your shit together <laughs> side. Uh, the six of wands is coming back from battle. 
But well, both of these are coming back from battle, but this is victorious. This is like beaten and battered and like they're are they cheering? They're cheering, but there's they're covered in blood and cuts and you actually can barely see the quote unquote victor. So whatever the battle was, it was horrible. And there's a lot of carnage to still deal with. Even even though the battle's over, there's a lot of carnage to still deal with, right? Battle's over. But the work's not done. They're realizing that. They're realizing that about themselves. Whew. Jesus. All right. Let's pull some Romance Angel cards and see what's up. Like I said, guys, this is a reconciliation on the way. I feel like this reconciliation actually is not going to happen this week. I feel like it's going to happen more so in January for those who are who are waiting on that. Because um, it seems like this whole week is putting is putting them even further into this hermit mode. And I'm sure it's just the effect of the holidays. Any messages for my Sagittarius's and love, December 24th to the 30th? Any messages for my Saggies regarding love, December 24th to the 30th? Let's see what we get here. Any messages for my Sagittarius's and love, December 24th to the 30th? Yeah, this person just has a long road to, to that's weird, a long, I was going to say a long road to hell, but that doesn't sound right. <laughs> a long road to hell. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, I made myself laugh. Um, this is a long road for them to walk, is really what I should have said, not hoeing, the, not hoeing on the corner. Um, <laughs> oh, if your partner does that, I am so Sorry. <laughs> Um, yeah, th this is a long road of, of healing and self-work, but you know what? They're doing it. They're doing it. And that's awesome. That's awesome. Because if they weren't doing it, I mean, I don't think you'd be sticking around. Any messages for my Saggies in love? December 24th to the 30th. <laughs> long road to hell. Uh, Okay. Any messages for my Saggies in love, December 24th to the 30th? Any messages for my Saggies in love, December 24th to the 30th? Oh, that's it. Okay. So we have chemistry. This is my twin flame card um, in this deck. This is the only twin, twin flame card for me in this deck. There's a strong magnetic, magnetic connection here. Um, and, and it's kind of cool. I like the imagery. Like, they're actually literally making magic in this card. If I can get it to focus. I don't know if you can see what she's got in her hand. Let me if I just put it right up there. Nope. Anyway, I give up. Yeah, so th this th this pair makes magic together. They make magic together. It's actually really beautiful. Um, this also feels... I don't know why I'm getting entrepreneurial energy off of this, but I am. You guys might actually be working on projects together in the near future if you're not already. This is really awesome. You guys are probably also very intensely physically attracted to each other. There's a lot of awesome, yummy, yumminess kind of going on here. Um, overall, though, we have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Don't let that scare you. Uh, it's not that. I think this is more alluding to uh, your partner here. Your partner's just so out of balance. Unrequited love isn't always they don't love me like it's not always one person loves the other person while the other person doesn't love them it's not always about that it just means it's not balanced it's not balanced and we knew that right we knew that from the very beginning that there needs to be something to there, there needs to be changed to balance out this relationship that's all this is saying it's calling for balance it's calling for um someone to to level themselves up and the other person to be patient uh that's what this is saying and you know sagis you are being patient you are, because you know this connection. Like I said, twin flame for me as a reader, um, but also soulmates. There's a lot of soulmate energy here. There's a lot of past life energy here. We got a lot of true pairs. And overall, you're the king of cups. You're ready for this. You're ready for this person. And you are waiting patiently because you're very mature and you're very much in control of your emotions. So you're waiting for this person to get their act together so that you guys can be together, which is really awesome. I love it. I really, really like that energy. I hope you guys enjoyed that. So sorry it was so long. <laughs> um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to go out, go and check out Patreon and the Facebook page. And have a great Christmas and holiday and Happy New Year. Bye, guys.